hi everyone i'm at supermarket now and decided to get some grocery shopping for making chocolate chip cookies okay let's start to find it i'm gonna get a vanilla extract uh, for our cookies but also i want chocolate chips actually the other things like brown sugar butter flour wheat and so on i already buy but forget to record uh, but it's okay when i come home i will show you uh, what we have buy just now okay stay tuned guys okay now we have sugar wheat flour butter brown sugar salt bicarbonate soda egg chocolate chip and vanilla extract first of all we need one half cup sugar and 1.5 cup wheat flour then we need also three quarters cup brown sugar and one half cup butter after that uh, one half teaspoon bicarbonate soda one teaspoon salt and one teaspoon vanilla extract of course we need chocolate chip and egg hi guys first thing first we must melt the one half cup of butter a few minutes later okay time after that we put three quarters cup of brown sugar one half cup of sugar then Put the water that we melt it earlier. Then, put an egg. Break it first. After that, we must put baking soda. One half teaspoon of baking soda, okay? Or we call it baking powder. Yes. After that, put some salt. Don't put it too much. Then, we must put the essence vanilla. Or we can measure it use a uh, one teaspoon of essence vanilla. Then put one half cup of wheat flour. After that, mix well all the ingredients before we put the chocolate chip. Last but not least. The important ingredients is chocolate chip so put how much chocolate chip that you want and mix it again hello guys I'm Karin and I will continue our process to do the chocolate chips cookies after we have prepared the mixed ingredients put it inside the chowder about half an hour then put a piece of baking paper on the tray. We are gonna scooping the dough on the tray about two inches apart. Leave some room because they will expand. While we scoop the cookies dough on the tray, we should preheat the oven first at 180 degrees for 10 minutes. Why we should preheating the oven? Because preheating an oven is important in baking, especially when we use this baking soda or baking powder as leavings, uh, it will react with the heat. Then, after finish cook the cookie dough, put the tray in the oven. Bake the cookie dough for 12 to 15 minutes and add 180 degrees. Oh. <laughs> My 
my name is Noor Kilam Tia Aziz. This is my tick card number D two zero one nine one zero eight eight one nine one. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nori Duan So today I will review the cookies I will review the texture, the taste and everything else That come to my mind after I taste it So let's take a look closer This is the chocolate chip cookies okay, The texture, it looks crunchy right So let's take a bite Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Yeah, as expected, it's crunchy, but the texture inside is chewy, uh, which we can chew it for a few more times. And I like this one since yeah, I like to chew food while doing my assignment or watch movie. Yeah, so it's perfect for me. And the sweetness and the sour is it's just perfect. Uh, and yeah overall it's very delicious and very good for everybody out there i'm very recommend you to do this cookie since it's very easy you just need to follow through all the steps and especially for students like me we can make these cookies and have it as a breakfast since we always skip a breakfast to go to classes and these cookies also contains chocolate which will bring energy into our body so that we can focus in our class that's all thank you so much and have a great day assalamualaikum and hi everyone my name is nur hafiza binti abdul wahid and my number metric is d086x6 uh, so the difficulty that i had first while doing this video was I didn't have stand to record my video it was so difficult to do that however i had asked my sister to help me and record my parts mm, but the quality of the video wasn't good because of shaking so it took many times to, re to record my video mm, but actually it taught me to be more patient with what i had done after that uh, i also faced a connection problem uh, my hometown has a slow line on the good day it could be better but uh, on the other day, it could get worse. Uh, it may be because of my location at my hometown. It is an island. Uh, therefore, it's difficult for me uh, to look a better line clearly. Uh, so, as a result, uh, to find the solution on this matter, I will do a late night stay up. Um, I don't know why. Uh, my line at my hometown is good at midnight. Uh, so, I use that time to edit my video. So that's all for me. Thank you. Hi guys, my name is Nuri Bismani binti Amazawai. My metric number is D 2019 Okay, for the challenge that I faced during uh, the video assignment was I don't have any measuring measuring I don't have any measuring tools like measuring cup or, or measuring spoon. So what? So what I do? I use I measure the ingredients using the same cup. Uh, and for the spoon, I estimate it like uh, the ingredient. The ingredients I put it. I put it at the end of the spoon. A just a little bit of it and pour it. As you can see in my part in the video so for the second problem that I faced was the dough doesn't want to stick together so what I do was I using my hand to mix them and stick them together so that's all from me thank you everyone, my name is Chong Kaling from BIU2032 English Proficiency 3 Group G with lecturer Mr. Muhammad Shafiq. Today, I want to share with you all about my experience when producing the video of Demonstrative Speech. Before producing the video, I faced a big challenge which is our group was confronted with the choice of topic for the demonstrative speech. 
or group members gave different opinions and ideas. We believe that a good discussion will contribute us to get a good topic. After a discussion, our group decided to do a demonstrative speech about the process of making the chakra chips cookies. In short, we practiced democratic work style as well as teamwork. Since this is the first time that I make the cookies and video producing, I face a difficult time trying to get a perfect suit and navigate the video editing software. Then I'm afraid I could not finish it on time. Therefore, I sacrificed my weekend and revision time to complete the shooting of my part and learn how to edit a video from the learning video on YouTube. I'm satisfied with the video production, which is good like what I expect. From this project, I learned the language, teamwork, and how to make cookies too. We all in conversation, most of the time yet, we have tried to minimize our broken English. And I'm here want to say thank you to all my group members. If without their cooperation, the video could not be completed. Thank you. The challenge while producing the video was when the cookies that I made uh, were overcooked and it is a slight burn at the first batch and it's done um, but it is still edible and it is uh, still marvelous and more for drink how I solve this problem is I change the oven heat setting at the top and the bottom of the oven maybe uh, the cookies slightly burned due to the unbalanced heat where at first uh, I only set up the heat from the bottom of the oven and after that there's no more black chocolate form okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Noriduan and this is my reflection video Okay, the challenges that I faced during make these cookies is my little brother. He is a five years old and is very active toddler. He's like to help, which disturb me to make the cookies. How do I overcome these challenges? Is I just let him help me, since a toddler they tend to learn something new, and as an adult. I will just let him help me and the flow is just fine and since, since him not protest because I let him do what he want what he want and yeah and that's how I overcome it the second challenges that I face is my mistake that I did which my house is lack in equipment so I just shape the mixed ingredient using my bare hands and put it in the tray and then after i bake the cookies yeah, the shape is just messy that it disappoint me so i i overcome this by i did the second try which i found something that can shape the ingredient the mixed ingredients and yeah the shape is quite round and after i bake it the result is impressive and this is how it looks it looks yeah it's better than the first try yeah that's it so what i learned from this is that we as a human being we tend to make mistakes so we must try our best because patient will not disappoint us and that's it Thank you very much. Are you